I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome to Edmund W. Miles Middle School Morning News for March 8, 2013. A broadcast is coming to you from our studios on the second floor of the middle school. If you wish to participate in one of these broadcasts, please talk to your teacher and what you will need to do to participate. Boys and Girls Track Meeting 7th and 8th grade boys and girls track meeting will be held on Wednesday, March 13th at 2.15 in the cafeteria. Be on time. Pi Day For Mr. Irwin, Pi Day is a nationally recognized math holiday and it is coming to you on March 14th. Test your memory out by trying to recite the most digits of pi. The district record is 257 digits. Can you top that? Step Farmingdale. The Step Farmingdale program will be Saturday, April 6th. Bus leaves E.W. Miles Middle School at 8 a.m. and returns 1.15. APTC. This Friday at the middle school, the APTC is sponsoring its annual supermarket bingo and Chinese auction. Doors will open at 6.15. Admissions will be $5.00. Admissions will get you games, beverages, and a snack. There will also be door prizes and raffles. Bring the whole family. Come with a friend. Guidance office. Return your information verification forms to the guidance office that will be mailed to you from home. National, National Junior Art Honor Society. There will be a mandatory meeting of the National Junior Art Honor Society on Thursday at the school in Ms. Fabian's room. Please attend. There is important information to discuss. If you cannot attend, if you cannot make this meeting, please make sure to come see Ms. Fabian before Thursday to get this information. Student Council. The winner of the Kids' Choice Awards will be announced next week. Stay tuned. Student Council will meet on Monday after dismissal in the library. Permission slips are due. If any student is interested in planning and participating in school and community events, you are invited to join us this Monday after dismissal in the library. Attention all 7th and 8th grade baseball players. Please stop by room 307 and write your name on the list. Posted to the door if you want more information about trying out for this year's middle school baseball team. See Mr. Zider with any questions. Today is a red day and have a ravishing day. Please come to our second annual literacy night, Dog Tales, on Tuesday, March 12th at 6 p.m. This year we will have service dogs from Vitaly Animal Shelter present, and you can come read to your favorite dog. To further support the Vitaly Animal Shelter, the Cable Builders Club will be collecting supplies to donate to the shelter. Some of these supplies include dog food, cat food, kitty literatures, and toys. You may bring your donations at any time before March 12th and drop it off to Miss P's room in... 118. We should love your support with this exciting fundraiser. Please see Miss P or Miss C if you have any questions. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Jose Cotto and I am reporting to you from Vocabulary Corner. The word of the week is cower. Cower is a verb which shows action or state of being. The definition of cower is to crouch or shrink away from fear or shame. Synonyms are cringe, flinch, tremble, shy away. Antonyms are stand up to. A sentence is, the cat seemed so brave when chasing after the mouse until 10 other mice showed up and then the cat began to cower and back away. March 14, 1950, FBI establishes 10 most wanted lists. In 1950, a wire service ran a news story about fugitives the FBI wanted to capture. This inspired FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover to establish the FBI's 10 most wanted list. Hoover used the list to call as much attention as possible to the people the agency was looking for in order to prompt the public to assist in their capture. Today, the FBI still publishes the 10 most wanted fugitives list, which is available on their website. All of the FBI field offices submit candidates to be included on the list, and a name is removed from it only if the fugitive has been killed or captured. On February 1st, 1960, four black freshmen from North Carolina A&T University 
sat down at the White's only lunch counter in the Woolsworth store located in Greensboro, North Carolina. Returning day after day for the next six months, they fought to end segregation in the South. On Wednesday, one of those men, Mr. Joseph McNeil, came to our middle school to share his experiences during the Civil Rights Movement. He spoke of what it took to fight for not only the rights guaranteed to him under the Constitution, but how this fight was for everyone's rights. March is National Collision Awareness Month. There are more than 1,700 fatalities and 840,000 injuries yearly due to vehicle crashes on public highways. Collision Awareness Month, we will focus on vehicle safety awareness, including the proper use of seat belts, child safety seats, and safe driving techniques with an emphasis on obeying traffic laws such as speed limits. of the American Red Cross. Clarissa Claire Burton was a pioneer, American teacher, patent clerk, nurse, and a humanitarian. At a time when relativity, few women worked outside the home. Burton built a career helping others. One of her greatest accomplishments was founding the American Red Cross. This organization helps victims of war and disasters. Giant Slayer. An ancient war is reignited when a young farmhand unwittingly opens a gateway between our world and a fearsome race of giants. Unleashed on the earth for the first time in centuries, the giants strive to reclaim the land they once lost, forcing the young man, Jack, into the battle of his life to stop them. Fighting for a kingdom, its people, and the love of a brave princess, he comes face to face with unstoppable warriors he thought only existed in legends, and gets the chance to become a legend himself. I am Camille and this is the week in weather. Friday, a bit of snow and rain, high of 40. Saturday, mostly sunny, high of 45. Sunday, partly sunny, high of 48. Have a great weekend. If you wish to have a birthday announced in this segment, fill the sheet on Miss Weber's door, room 207, and give it to him by Wednesday morning. Our birthdays this week are... Graciela Rivera Samuel Thompson Sinia Gallo-Reyes George Ramirez-Canales Shanika Bernard and Destiny Knox. Happy birthday! First, Sarah and Adam Silverberg. 